Let's do a little witchy story time, shall we? So in 2023, I spent about a week in the beautiful country of Costa Rica. I stayed in an Airbnb by the beach with a lovely Latina practitioner. Now, I have a quick and easy spell to establish wards around Airbnbs and hotel rooms I'm staying in, just in case someone takes a shot at me while I'm away from home. When we got to the Airbnb, I kept trying to get around to doing it, but my date kept having other things she wanted to do first. So the bedroom had a couple transparent screen doors that led to the backyard. My date and I were cuddling in bed when she gasps and says, what's that, pointing toward the doors. I look over and I see the shadow man with the hat, one of the spirits I work with. I said, oh, that's just the man with the hat. He follows me around, don't worry about him, he's friendly. But he's a pretty intimidating spirit, so she was still kind of on edge. She got a lot more on edge when the man with the hat started making a couple objects move. She's like, what is that? What's happening? I'm like, relax, relax. He's just reminding me to set up wards around the Airbnb. Personally, I don't experience poltergeist activity very often. Uh, the spirits I work with tend to only do that when they're having trouble getting my attention. So I create the wards that I usually create. And of course, all the poltergeist activity stopped. Fast forward about an hour. My date was asleep in the bed. I was outside smoking a cigarette and waiting for my sleeping pills to kick in so I could join her. Then, all of a sudden, someone I hadn't spoken to in years contacts me through Snapchat, somebody I wasn't on great terms with. The person in question sent me a lot of unprovoked threats, talked about how she'd hexed me, how she was going to do it again, all because she heard a silly little rumor that would be easy to sort out if I was speaking to a mentally developed person. She's one of those types who's in her 30s and is still just like a child. So I tried to explain my side of things, tell her that the rumor she heard was a misunderstanding, but she wasn't having it. She kept making her threats and then re-blocked me. I went to sleep mad that night. I was minding my business in fucking Costa Rica, trying to enjoy my vacation. And I had to deal with that type of shit? The man with the hat has to appear and scare the fuck out of my date because you're a fucking child? Hell no. When I got back home, I literally made an entire playlist solely for the purpose of playing it while I cursed her. The Shayatin actually guided me to try a new curse on her, one that was specifically designed to cause collateral damage. Normally, I don't even do curses like that, but hey, the will of Shaitan is the will of Jehanim.